Look at my new shirt. Yo, yo, yo. It's Overt Flow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys? Do today bring you another Pokemon Go video. I hope that you definitely enjoyed this one. If you enjoy Pokemon Go or you just enjoyed me, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video. If we could shoot for a cool K, that would be awesome. A thousand likes would be beautiful. Normally when I do Pokemon Go videos, I actually go out and about. I live in Las Vegas. You guys, if you're subscribed for Pokemon Go or whatever you're subscribed for, you know that I live in Vegas. Normally I go out with some friends. I'll go to the strip. I'll go meet up with like strippers or whatever. We'll catch some Pokemon. We'll have some fun. But today I asked on Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me there. I asked on Twitter what you guys wanted to see. Y'all wanted to see some Pokemon Go news, which was interesting. Normally I don't really cover the news so much. I just kind of do the like the let's play vlog type stuff. But there is a ton of news that I figured that I could cover with you guys. And I think that you will definitely enjoy it. So sit back, relax, grab your Pikachu, grab some popcorn, and let's get into these uh, news and rumors that I think are pretty interesting. And I have a ton of stuff coming. I'm honestly waiting for some of these big updates and I'm hoping that some of these will be true. There is a ton of rumors circulating about the fact that there will be updates that are going to include second generation Pokemon. But today, instead of covering that, I want to cover the fact that they are talking about baby Pokemon being introduced into Pokemon Go as an update, which I think is very, very cool. Baby Pokemon being introduced into the game would be a very, very cool way to provide a ton of content without having to do too much. Now, if you guys know second generation Pokemon, third generation are all being talked about being introduced into Pokemon Go, there's been a ton of rumors circulating about that, and I'm more than happy to cover that news for you guys if you want that as well. But in my opinion, I think that these baby Pokemon and mega Pokemon rumors are much more, much more likely than anything else because it will be simple updates just including smaller evolutions of these Pokemon, smaller versions of these Pokemon, such as Pichu who evolves into Pikachu, Togepi is the baby form of course, Togepi is beautiful, Munchlax, another one of my favorite baby Pokemon, he evolves into Snorlax, and if they could include these baby Pokemon in the game, that would make it easier, there wouldn't be as much coding involved with this, and it would be a good way to provide a lot of content for us Pokemon Go players. Let me know what level you are in Pokemon Go if you made it this far in the video. I'm definitely interested in hearing that. And we all know that Pokemon is kind of in a dry period right now because there's a lot of people who are already level 20, level 25, level 30, level 35, and they kind of have a ton of the Pokemon. Me, myself, I've almost captured every single one, so it's like there needs to be updates like this in order to keep the game alive, in order to keep it thriving, in my opinion. If you guys didn't know, they actually did include an update recently, and I'll go over it right now with you guys, and then we will cover Mega Pokemon, the possibility of them coming to the game, and even more. In the newest update of Pokemon Go, they fixed the capture location, which means the location where a Pokemon was caught will now be displayed on the information screen, which is something that was there when the game first came out. Then they removed it with an update for some reason, so they have put that back into the game, which is pretty cool. It's always interesting to see where you caught stuff, especially if you're one of those spoofers cheating, catching stuff all over the place. It will be cool to see that you caught like, I don't know, a Charizard next to the Great Wall of China, or perhaps you caught like you know, that Snorlax over in UK or whatever it is. That'll be cool for you. Pokemon Go Plus and Incense. There's been a lot of Pokemon Go Plus changes. Trainers can attempt to capture Pokemon they encounter using Incense with the Pokemon Go Plus accessory. Fix the bug that caused some users to get stuck on the loading screen even after restarting the app. And they fixed a bug where the camera sometimes would be moved at slower speeds during battle. In addition to that, they had some minor bug fixes, which is always a good thing. They need to be fixing up the game. They need to make sure that it is running properly. So I like to see that they're updating. I wish that they would roll these updates out a little bit faster because as we all know, like let's let's not be uh let's not pretend here guys. If they're not rolling out these updates fast enough, the game doesn't stay alive. They need to keep up. They need to have this maintenance. It's very, very important for the life of the game. I know a lot of friends who aren't playing right now and they're waiting for, you know, the battle updates, the trading updates, all this stuff. And I'm more than happy to keep you informed. I kind of have only done vlogs about Pokemon Go, but if you guys enjoy this new stuff, make sure you drop a like on it. And the last thing, and let me know, let me know in the comments. Your feedback is super important to me. I figured it's fun. It's fun to do this stuff because I'm still very much enjoying Pokemon. Right now, if you guys don't know, I do post gaming videos on my channel. I'm mainly like an FPS Call of Duty player, but I'm having so much fun with this, and it's kind of a slow time for Call of Duty, so I can have a lot of fun with these Pokemon Go videos. I have a ton of vlogs planned for you guys, 
and uh, I just hope that you're enjoying them to be honest. The last possible rumor and update that we're going to be talking about today is the Mega Pokemon update. Now if you don't know about this, it's an evolution that comes after the final evolution of your Pokemon such as Charmander evolving into Charmeleon who would then evolve into Charizard but the Mega Evolution will be Mega Charizard, there's Mega Blastoise, all this crazy stuff. Mega Blastoise has like triple the cannon power on his back. Mega Charizard is actually one of the dopest Mega Evolutions I've ever seen. Looks amazing, got this dark flame thing going on with him. Looks absolutely beautiful. Of course we got Mega Venusaur who's a little bit ugly, might need some proactive in his life. Maybe get some like face wash up in there. But all of these Mega Pokemon would provide another easy coding way for Niantic and the Pokemon people to include some updates into the game that wouldn't, evolve, wouldn't involve a ton of work on their part. It would be hard to include 150 new Pokemon or 200 new Pokemon into the game with all their individual evolutions, but it would be easy to include something like Baby Pokemon or Mega Pokemon where they're just adding one evolution onto the Pokemon already in the game and that's why these rumors to me are something that could really come to fruition. It's something that's really a possibility rather than just being like a shot in the dark like some of this stuff out there in the world man. So I thought that it was a really cool thing that I would cover for you guys. I hope that you are definitely enjoying the video so far. I'm gonna try to do more Pokemon videos. I've been doing like one or two a week and like three Call of Duty videos along with one or two vlogs per week but I'm gonna try to do more of this stuff if you guys are honestly enjoying it just let me know I appreciate any support thank you all so much I appreciate the support check that out 100k plaque right there that's that's my baby I love it you know we're gonna evolve this thing into the million plaque one day we're a quarter of the way there and with you guys help I think I think that we could do it I'm definitely looking forward to it and um I just I just want to say thank you all for everything I hope that you are enjoying the videos um, this was just a little Pokemon Go uh, update and rumor talk thing and I want to know your opinion so always leave it in the comments section below. Always interested in hearing what you guys have to say. It's always very important to me. I do try to read all my comments and um, it just means the world to me to have you all support. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully enjoying the video. I'll see you in the next one. Check out some of my other videos. If you only watch me for Pokemon Go, make sure you check out some other videos. You might not like Call of Duty but maybe you'll like my vlogs. Maybe you don't like my vlogs, but you like gaming videos. Make sure you check out my other stuff. I do more than just Pokemon. I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. And the last thing I wanted to include is if y'all want some free Poke Coins or you want to earn some free stuff, I do have a link down below. You can check it out. It will say it down there. Go over there. You can get some free stuff. It takes you like an hour to earn stuff. It's super cool, super enjoyable. Check it out. I love y'all. I will see you in the next one. And I am over and out.